Another way to edit our survey data is to use the field data editor inside 12D model. This simply gives us the opportunity to edit our field data editor file or field file by using options inside 12D. This saves us a lot of headache than editing the file inside TextPad or Notepad. To use the field data editor in 12D, simply go to survey, go down to edit and come across to field data. Inside the edit survey field data box, we simply select the function name. Now you will remember when we reduced our or created our field file, we used survey day one. It's the only function that we have in our existing project. So I'm simply going to select this function and then left click on edit. This now brings up the survey field data editor. And this is simply basically as you would see the file inside Notepad. A lot easier to edit. I will now explain what the icons mean running from left to right across the top of the field data editor. The insert icon, which is the very left icon, simply inserts a 12D field operation command into the field data editor. So what you need to do is, I'm gonna scroll down and just select one of our measurements. Just be aware though, when you insert a field command code in, it will insert it to the point above. So if you wanna edit point 1017 here, simply click on point 1018 and then go edit. This now will bring up a whole bunch of different commands we can use. If I select the scroll down arrow, you can see all the different commands inside 12D model that we can append to our existing survey field file. So we can do a lot of edits this way. I will go through how to use this in the next video. The next thing across is, I'll quickly insert, it will then create a, a measurement and you can simply just type in the readings here. I'm not going to type in anything. I'm going to leave it as null. You will notice if I double click on another measurement above, you can see that this is what it should look like. You've got your horizontal angle, your slope distance, your vertical angle, the code used, the string number and the point ID, etc. You can just fill that out and apply it for your new measurement that we inserted. I'm not going to fill out this because I'm simply now going to explain the next button along and that's the delete button. And all you do here is simply left click on delete and this will delete whatever row is highlighted. So now we've got nothing there anymore. It's empty. The next button across is the go to icon. If we left click on this, this allows us to go to any line number. And you will notice when we highlight or left click on any of our measurements or rows in this field data editor, you will notice that the line gets highlighted here. So if I type in, scroll at the top, and if I type in one, two, three, four, line four, and go to, you will notice it didn't go to the fourth one down. And this is because there are hidden lines that inside this field data editor. And the turn on the hidden lines, you simply go to the toggle icon and left click on that. And you can see there's a hidden line in row three. So just be aware when you type the line number in, you might want to turn the toggle on to see the view, the hidden lines. The next icon across is the find command. And the find command is used, you can either find by a type, so we can search this field file by whatever commands are used. If I left click down on the, on the arrow icon, we can search for, a, I'll scroll down, I might use a, a target height. So I can search for any target heights and we will go in the direction of downwards through the field file and go find and it will go to the next target height searching downwards. We go find again and we'll go through to the next one. We can go back up if we wanna search back up through the field file and left click on find and it will go back to the previous one. So it's a pretty powerful op option to um, search for different command codes you could also search for numbers if you had a minimum and maximum value, a certain text. So you could type in a uh, like station, you could type in station and it will search for station. And you can search for names. So we can search for a, a certain code. 
If I wish to search through this field data editor, selecting a point ID, if I want to search for point ID 1010, and I'm going to search down the, in the direction downwards through the field data editor, and if I go find, you can see now it jumps to line with the measurement of the line 33 with the point ID of 1010. So this is a very handy way of, of going through and searching your file for different point IDs or codes or string numbers, etc. Just be sure to get this working though, to make sure we, you, the command in here is now empty. If I still had this set to say a check measurement and try and go find, so I'll, I'll put in 20, you'll notice it won't work, it, it's stuck. So you make, need to make sure that you delete anything that you have in here. The next icon across is the find and replace icon. This simply is a really quick way of you can change if you coded something wrong in the field. You can type in the old code. So say if you coded something BC and you, and you omit the code at bottom of bank, BB, and it will go through and change any BC codes that are currently in your field data editor and change them to a new code of BB. Very quick way to find and replace. Uh, the next handy option is the arrow, and that's basically find by pick. So if I left click on the arrow, and then if I want to know, I want to edit this natural surface spot height just down here, but I'm not sure what the point ID is or the point number, I can just left click and accept, and it will jump to that, that on the row here on the survey field data editor. And you can see there's a nice array from the station well set up to this shot. So we can simply now just double click on this row and you can go through and you can change the code or the point ID, even the, ang the angles or the slope distance if you really want to and add a comment. The next couple of options is if we select a measurement and you wish to make that a backsite measurement, you simply just left click and that will change it to a backsite measurement. And you can do the same for a check shot too. If you want to make a measurement here, an existing measurement, you want to turn it into a check shot, you just left click on the two check shot icon. The pan icon, you will notice that whenever we click on any of these rows, I now scroll down and go down to the other side of the job and I say left click on one of these strings, you'll notice my view changes. So the pan button makes sure that whatever you're selected, it would change the view so that point is in the center of your 12D view. If you wish to keep the view where it currently is, just tick off the pan button. Once you're finished doing your edits, you click on finish and that will close the panel.